What is the true essence of music? I consider music to be effective, like a weapon to inform people. Is it simply pleasant sounds or a powerful tool to communicate ideas, emotions, and beliefs? The contemporary wave of Afrobeat champions have elevated the genre globally, but does it still hold the same substance as the original Afrobeat sound created by Fela Kuti? Will Fela Kuti, the revered originator of Afrobeat, appreciate the direction in which Afrobeats has evolved? Welcome to Deep Observers. In this video, we explore the journey of Afrobeat and delve into the questions surrounding its current state. One, two, Some would argue that music is a tool that can be used to communicate ideas, stories, emotions, beliefs, philosophies, and other intangible qualities. Thus, the relevance of these qualities and attributes are seldom so impactful that their values transcend generations, such that a person born in a certain time and age will still appreciate the substance of the past generation, dialogue it, and perhaps pick a few tricks and generally improve on the underlying concepts. This theory has proven to be true with contemporary wagon of Afrobeat champions who have elevated the Afrobeat genre into global statutory acceptance and relevance. In the early 1960s to 70s, when the Afrobeat genre was first conjured by the revered Fela Kuti, the focal point of the sound was to trumpet criticism to the ruling government as a wake-up call to do right by the masses. For this courageous advocacy, Fela was haunted constantly by the government officials until his passing on 2nd August 1997, aged 58. Before what many consider his untimely death, he had lost his mother Fumilayo Ransom Kuti to injuries sustained during one of the unlawful raids at the Kalakuta Republic. On this very occasion, amidst the ruthless beatings and manhandlings, it is recorded that Fela's mother was gruesomely thrown out from a house window believed to be the first floor of the story building. This cruelty led to the irrecoverable injuries and her untimely demise only a few months afterwards. This was the harsh reality the Afrobeat sound brought to its originator, Fela and Nicola Pokuti. Although a whole new crop of activists like Files Brimo and Idris Abdul Karim have sprung up against the woes of the government. There is yet another that has gone head on against the government independently as Fela unflinchingly did. His pragmatic life and painful death has continued to inspire a new generation of musicians, artists, activists and influencers. But none has so carried his baton of activism and selflessness in the same might as he did. The music genre he created has been christened Afrobeat, with the infusion of hip-hop, R&B, dancehall, and other foreign sounds. And with this change came a new direction of interest, composition, and rendition. The lyrics of the songs, artists, lifestyles, and personalities have also taken a new route. Although not much has changed economically about the quality of lives of the populace, the artists who get rich and famous from the crowd-funded supplies of their fans and listeners are known to live in flamboyance, in affluence, power, and bask in unlimited resources. To sustain this lifestyle, these celebrities have to appeal to the emotional bankruptcy of their listeners, feed them a hope of a life outside their current reality, and sparely lend them a helping hand in the form of giveaways, campaigns, and showmanship. But before then, the secret ingredient to this much sought after fame and fortune is to make the people dance and briefly forget their sorrows and hardship. No one puts it in better terms than Fela himself, suffering and smiling. I see Africans today. What we do, what we'll do is just we suffer, we smile, you know. Every, every African man smiles. <laughs> How are you? You see, that's, you see, we smile because we are good people, probably. But you see, people don't have to smile in a bad condition. The rhythm, melody, puffed up lyrics, Colorful music videos and exotic clothes, wine, and flashy women are just enough smokescreen to appeal to the majority of the young audiences. And as a democratic society, majority often means validation. So it is with the new trend of extravaganza and high life by these Afrobeat stars. 
it begs the question. As cowardice made the Afrobeats genre only about flashy lifestyle and material gains, are women, sex, and illicit drugs the focal point of Afrobeats genre? Is Afrobeat anti-feminist? Would Fela resonate with the current state of the genre? In fact, would Fela listen to today's Afrobeat? Understanding his principles and beliefs can provide insight into his potential take on today's Afrobeat. Let us know what you think of this new trend of Afrobeat and make your comparisons known in the comment section below. Until next time, I am Bright Olomu from Deep Observers. Stay peaceful.